for that, we shall give a press release on Tuesday next week. All right, before we get back to discussions on that cancellation and what exactly it means for Kenyans and the RABC as we head into the electoral uh, or the August 8th polls, let's cross over live to Mombasa. This is the third day of uh, the legislative uh, summit uh, that involves the senators and members of county assemblies across uh, the country. Our reporter, uh, Patrick Amimo, is joining us live from there and will be having engagements on the same at that particular summit. Amimo, what do you have for us? Uh, thank you, Akisa. Just uh, the news of the cancellation of that uh, Kenya Integrated Electronic Management System just happened today when uh, the IABC CEO, Ezra Chiloba, did cancel the three billion shilling tender. It's coming when uh, we expected that uh, system to be in place by April. And just joining me is uh, Makuweni Senator uh, Mutula Kilonzo Jr. Just to give us, uh, Senator, what is uh, the implication of this cancellation of this tender integrated system? It's, it's a cause of concern. Uh, when uh, our, our proposal was made in Parliament to change the timeline from eight months to four months, we raised this concern that it is possible that somebody will raise a concern about the tender and then it will not be in place within the four months. The four months includes testing and uh, many other components. We are supposed to have a more collection, 60 days to the general elections. Now, if you have not done the tender, uh, four months to the elections. It means every timeline that is proposed, including the testing, which is 60 days to the elections, will also not be affected. And therefore, all Kenyans should be very concerned about IBC and its work. And maybe they should be advised that this is possibly an opportunity to either go into a direct tender because of the timelines and make sure that they comply with our proposals, two proposals. One, that all stakeholders must be involved, the political parties, civil society, under the law, so that they don't have these quarrels. And two, my other concern is that the regulations that would put the integrated electronic system in place are still lying in parliament. Most members of parliament are now vying in the nominations. And therefore, it worries me that at some point in April, when either they lose or are busy campaigning for their seats in the nominations, we will not be able to pass the regulations. That is a serious concern. Looking at it, the CEO says that uh, there is one of the reasons he cited is that there is lack of uh, lack of sufficient funds and also time constraints. That's the reason why he's given that uh, he wants to cancel this tender. But way back in February 28th, we saw the chairperson uh, we, uh, of Lache Bukati also uh, try say that the council these uh, tender they were looking for other alternatives after the bidder went to the uh, procurement review board and took his matter there. Then he said it might affect their timelines because it will take 21 days to settle the matter. Yes. Now. My concern about what the CEO keeps on saying is that at the first instance, when Ezra Chiloba got into this, the political parties uh, issued a general warning and said, Mr. Chiloba, do not get into procurement of this system before the commissioners are put in place. He still went ahead and did it. I'm very aware when we were doing the public hearing in the recent election, controversial election amendment bill, the CS, Joe Mushero, had concern about the equipment the integrated equipment which they had attempted to procure. The law is very clear on public finance management, and we must tell Chiloba loudly that you cannot, con you cannot procure when you do not have funds. The president, in the State of Nation address, said that every facility available has been given to IABC. It should not be hard to say that there are no, there's no funds, uh, because that cannot be an excuse. This election is so important that we, we should stop some things so that we can procure the appropriate equipment, which includes not only the voting equipment and biometric voter identification, but result transmission, satellite transmission. So they must be told, and they must be told now, that if there was a time when they should start, uh, sirens should go out about this, it's now. 
looking at it, we want, we've been complaining about uh, the audit of the voter register, and it needs, it needs cleanup. And according to the IBC timelines, the voter uh, verification exercise was to start May 10th. And they were expecting to have these, uh, these devices in place by April uh, next month so that uh, the voter verification exercise starts, uh, voter register starts uh, uh, May 10th. Do you th and I've, I've heard the chairperson say that they have, they'll have alternative methods to clean that register or verifi verify the register. What is he trying to imply here? <laughs> you know, the, he, should be, he should ask. The purpose of the audit of the register was the report that emanating from the last general election, which suggested there were five to six registers, including the Green Book. The purpose of the register is to remove people who are not supposed to be in that register. It is on record that 128,000 Kenyans share identities with other Kenyans. That is already bad enough in an election where we are looking for 50 plus one or margins. So therefore, the equipment that was supposed to be procured is tied to the audit of the register. Because if you cannot be identified, then you are unlawfully in the register. And that principal register of voters needs to be in place in time for inspection. So therefore, Mr. Chebukati, Mr. Chiloba, and your commissioners, we are going to tell you loudly, and you'd better start listening to us, that the reason why the, we put that audit of the register is to ensure that we have a clean register. There are two things that are most important for this election. Only, number one, a clean register. Number two, a system that will ensure that this election is accurate, verifiable, and accountable. You cannot compromise that at any time. With these regular challenges to the IBC, do you think it's ready for the August 8th polls and time is running out? You know, I don't know why everybody asks that, that question. We have 138 days to the next general election. IBC and Chebukati and its commissioners must be on notice because they applied when they knew about these timelines. They should work day and night, day and night, to ensure we have the general elections in August. The date of election, I want to tell all Kenyans and everybody, cannot be changed. Thank you so much. That is uh, Makweni Senator Mutula Kelonzo Jr. Just on this uh, cancellation of the tender for the elect procurement of electronic uh, devices that will be very critical for the August 8th polls. From Mombasa here, I'm Patrick Amimo. Back to you, Akisa.